It's right in the middle of New England's biggest state and a big river runs through it, a river that's literally been brought back to life. We wouldn't be standing here. That's how bad it was. Now it's a huge draw with a beautiful bike path beside it. It's a beautiful trail, first of all, because it goes right along the river. And a saved river has revitalized the whole city. Augusta has a real big urban feel, but the sense of community is, like, palpable. A community that created its own place to play a game that first requires a quick lesson on how to pronounce it. Pay tonk. Pay tonk. Yeah. It's a community that's determined to hold on to its history. He will love coming into a construction zone. Right. And in the shadow of a state house, a one-of-a-kind museum you've likely never heard of. First clue, the number one. Plus, a small detour to an A1 breakfast. People from all over the country have heard of A1. It's the main streets and back roads of Augusta, Maine, next on Chronicle. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. It's not one of Maine's bigger cities, only 12th in terms of population, but it sits squarely on the Kennebec, is the center of Kennebec County, and as the state capital, is at the heart of Maine itself. But more importantly, Augusta's long history includes a new chapter today that is all about resurgence and renewal. It was very busy when I was a kid. That changed when the malls started coming to Augusta and a lot of business kind of moved out of downtown, out to the malls. So that changed the culture a little bit. Yeah. Augusta native attorney and former city councilor Mark O'Brien was elected mayor in 2022. He sees a different downtown and city today. There's a lot of new vitality here downtown. A little bit of a food scene going on here? Yeah, there are some very good restaurants down here. People who want to come here and live here and be in a vibrant downtown. But O'Brien is first to agree there'd be no hopeful and new chapter in Augusta without having first dealt with an old and very dirty one. The river used to be pretty foul. To put it mildly, for nearly 200 years, paper and other mills on the Kennebec here treated the river like, well... The river was treated like an open sewer uh, by the paper mills and by the towns. How bad had it gotten? We wouldn't be standing here. That's how bad it was. There were times in the mid-60s where the entire river was dead fish floating. There was no dissolved oxygen left in the river. The legislature would adjourn because it smelled so bad. So it's kind of hard to imagine how bad it had gotten. Finally, the dam broke, literally. First, the mills began to shut down. Then in 1999, after years of struggle, the Edwards Dam that had powered the mills was removed. The results for the river were both stunning and nearly instantaneous. Literally overnight, fish were spotted all the way up in Waterville, 18 miles up. that hadn't been able to swim there freely in 137 years. Now you've got people coming down and watching sturgeon leaping out of the water. It's, it's incredible. It's really amazing. Indeed, with a clean river again, Augusta's annual summer sturgeon run, when the huge fish spawn and swim upriver, has become must-see viewing here. In turn, in 2022, it spawned its own public art project. 26 local artists designed their own fiberglass fish. Safe to say that's the first time as an artist you've ever painted on a sturgeon? That's correct. <laughs> Augusta native Heather Allen has returned to her hometown where she sees the public art as a hopeful sign. When I was growing up here, Water Street was a ghost town. And since I've moved back, there's been so much development. And I think having the sturgeon and just pops of color along the street is just really beautiful. A city that had retreated from its river now hugs it with a six and a half mile bike trail, swims in it with an Ironman race, and fishes in it knowing fish, like the city, are back. We've always existed because of the river. We've always relied on the river for industry. And now to have it back and to have it as an attraction to bring people down, it's, it's just huge. I think we're in a strong position. Like most communities, we have a challenge with housing and the shortage of housing. I think we have a lot of potential, a lot of things to work on, but I'm glad I'm here. I wouldn't be anywhere else. 
And if you've never seen a sturgeon leap out of the water, tell, Ted tells us it is quite a sight. They can grow to 12 feet long and weigh 800 pounds. They spawn in the Kennebec River in late June and early July. And if you miss the real thing, the city's sturgeon sculptures will reappear downtown in late May, and the Ironman race returns to Augusta on July 30th. All thanks to a cleaned up Kennebec. Next, a classic diner through the generations.